Hello and welcome back, it's Bloke is Guilty K here and today I've got some great news it's a little bit late because I was actually going to do this but uh, I was playing <laughs> the Hunter Call of the Wild <laughs> but uh, you may or may not know obviously the Hunter Classic is uh, from the Expansive Studios Avalanche and uh, <laughs> it's the first one to the Hunter Call of the Wild um, I'm sure it is, and I'm sure everybody used. I'm sure everybody plays the Hunter Call of Wild PC, PS4, and Xbox. Because um, I know I did. I mean, I played this <coughs> this game about two years ago, but I thought I, I didn't didn't really get into it because you had to buy everything, <coughs> you know. So I did actually play it a little bit, but now. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> and it posts on May the 8th, 2019. And it says, a status update. Hello, Hunter. Today we are going to take a deep look into the new changes to Classic. First off, just in case you missed the news, the Hunter Classic has had a, an update to the business model. And <clears throat> it has never been more accessible and easy to play as of now. <laughs> this, no more memberships and all animals are free. To hunt 24/7, <laughs> which is good because it never used to be. There only used to be a very few animals which you could hunt without paying for them, but now they're all free. <laughs> and so one of the biggest changes we have done is to remove the memberships, which is good because you had used to have to can have a membership. We don't have to. Um, <clears throat> so this means that all maps and animals are available to hunt for free for any player. The free animal rotation has been removed and all animals are free to hunt at this time on all reserves. <laughs> There's still changes in harvest for GMs. Another major change we have made is, uh, is that nearly all the items in store can now be purchased with both EMs and GMs. The EMs, yes, you can actually you can actually buy EMs or, or you can get GMs by harvesting animals. <coughs> EMs can be purchased to per usual, obviously, and GMs can be now be earned in game, <laughs> except by harvesting an animal that has a CSS score. Obviously, you can see, <coughs> <coughs> you can see down the list of uh, what you can actually. Uh, <laughs> it's all, I think, really, to be fair, it's all self explanatory, to be fair. And I think it's good. And just to tell you a little bit about it more, if you haven't played this, although this is on Steam for PC, it's a pity really that it's not come to PS4. I don't know. So you can have a look in store, in which you can uh, bundles and have a look all down here. <coughs> the EMS is, is here, EMS, but, um, but you can buy the weapons <laughs> if you want to. Either by EMS or or the GMS here. It depends how many animals you shoot. It's, I think this is <coughs> going to be more of a grind. <laughs> All the rifles down there. <coughs> it's going to be a little bit more of a grind than uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild. Um. I mean, you get rifles, you get handguns. Handguns are down here. All different handguns. <coughs> Shotguns. <laughs> Which is pretty good. I'm not going to go into great detail about the cost of it. Obviously, <laughs> you can see. Um, <coughs> obviously, it's similar to Call of the Wild. <laughs> But you can even buy dogs, which help you. You can buy the dogs, which help you. Um, some about 16 GMS, GMs, or 799 or fiver, or whatever it costs, you know. <coughs> you get all stuff like this here. You get the large equipment as well, stands and bundles, uh, which I have a few ground blinds. When I, when I did actually play it, but uh, 
got tree stands as well and everything. Um, it's quite good for your killing. Um, <laughs> and vehicles, you do get the quads in the Call of the Wild, but you get the, <laughs> the Park Ranger in, in this one you, if you can buy or whatever. Um, <clears throat> and available, it says here, uh, 25 missions you can, uh, you can go on, or you can do, sorry, should I say. Um, I have actually done the white tail deer missions, but there are 25. <laughs> so, um, cool. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I reckon it's pretty good anyway. <laughs> And here are <clears throat> some of the reserves you can go on. <laughs> There's White Heart Island, uh, Field Lodge here, <clears throat> Rogers Point, So yeah, this is a, this is a pretty good map, and you can see you can see the size of all the maps here, all the lodges, uh, <clears throat> which which areas you want to try and go for. So it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, sorry for coughing, <laughs> but yeah, um, <coughs> it's it's not too bad to be fair, really. I don't know it all. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time I've <coughs> played this for a very, very long time. Well, a couple of years. <laughs> but on the right-hand side is the guest hunting. You can see all, these are all animals, obviously. You can shoot. <coughs> These animal marks in orange are on free rotation. Ah, okay. <laughs> But as I say, I think it's going to be a, bit, be a little bit of a grind, anyway. <laughs> but there's so much fun <coughs> and immersiveness into the game. <laughs> That's what I thought now, <laughs> because uh, I did actually didn't play it for a couple of years because <laughs> you had to buy everything. But you can't. You don't have. To, pardon me. You don't have to now. So I'm just going to have to uh, <laughs> grind this game a little. I've done call. I haven't done Call of the Wild, but it's Call of the Wild is it's still good. I still play it. I still will play it. But uh, this is on PC, so 